It's me again. Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, we're going to take that T56 I was telling you about, and I'm going to prep it for paint. So as you can see, it's not, I mean, it's just, I don't know, casting's not that great. Uh, just needs to be cleaned up, painted to look nice. I may only paint this section here, because this looks pretty good here, all nice and rough. But um, I don't know. So we'll clean it up. I'm gonna show you how to clean it up using different uh, tools, and uh, then we can take this thing off and spray it. So thanks again for watching. If you like it, please hit subscribe, and we look forward to you uh, watching how to prep and paint a T56 Magnum 6B. Thanks. So I'll just keep kind of working this and a whole bunch up in here. So that's kind of get the gist of it. Clean up all the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll put a pad on like, like this. So then I'll put a pad on like this this will clean a lot of clean it up like that and we'll just kind of continue on I did kind of a time lapse here because there is a ton of work that goes into cleaning up this transmission. Uh, I'm guessing an hour and a half, two hours, maybe more. I don't know. So uh, you can see it's a lot of work, but uh, it's definitely worth it in the end. We'll get on to back to the video. Okay, we got the other side pretty well cleaned up now. Uh, we'll go through and kind of touch it up. As I said, I couldn't get in a couple of areas in here, so we'll wipe that down some acetone. Uh, probably have to do that by hand. But uh, we'll finish cleaning this thing up and get it ready for paint. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to continue on with prepping the T56 for paint. Uh, it's been too cold the last two weeks, so I started cleaning it up, scotch Bright padding it, uh, wheeling it, uh, whatever I could do to try to get all the crevices, get rid of all the casting flash. But uh, it's supposed to be in the 60s today, low 60s, so I'm going to see if we can get some primer on this. As you can see, I've had the transmission uh, sit in front of this heater um all overnight just to kind of keep it warm because i figure if i can get the transmission to get warm uh then when the paint hits it'll at least it'll dry so i think it's the upper 50s right now so we're going to try to spray the etch primer on first and then white and then we'll clear it so this transmission is going to look awesome the first thing i'm going to do is i've got my tack rag here i'm going to uh just try to get any of the extra because i use paper towels to wipe it all down with acetone so now we'll just kind of tack it all off to get any, like see there's a whole bunch of paper towel crap right there. Yep, so you can see where it's kind of picking up some of the paper towels. You don't want to drag a one of these tack cloths across something because there's a, it's just a sticky mess. So you just kind of blot it and uh, hit it pretty quick. So we'll just continue this. So we're going to mix up some uh, primer, or some, uh, basically, it's, this is a etch primer, basically just for aluminum. So we're going to try to keep this off the bell housing, if I can get this damn baggie here open. This stuff's mixed one to one. This stuff is really nasty stuff. I think it might have zinc in it and chromate, I'm not even sure. It's. Uh, yeah, nasty, nasty stuff. So we're gonna mix this one to one. So it's a one to one mix. As I said, this stuff is not, not good stuff. But it, uh, it sticks to that aluminum like there's no 
no issues there. So we'll mix that up. So I've got a piece of plastic over the lens uh, because last time I painted white, I got little white dots on the lens. I don't want to ruin my GoPro. So I don't know how that works, but we're going to try showing you painting here. I'm also going to have a respirator on, so you're really not going to be able to hear me. So I'm going to throw a respirator on now. We'll move this transmission out and we'll get our first coat started. Okay, so now you may not be able to hear me very well. I said I've got the respirator on. And we're going to pour this. We're going to use a touch-up gun uh, just because there's a lot of nooks and crannies and I don't want to go nuts with this. Probably going to need to mix up more of that, I'm thinking. This primer on the bell housing. This is made for aluminum. So here we go. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, let that dry and then we'll paint it. So I just finished up the last coat of base coat. Um, nice white transmission. Should be nice. I have no uh, corrosion with the aluminum protected. So, yeah, once I get some of the stuff untaped, then you'll see some contrast. I think it'll look really good. So let this dry for a little bit and then I'll shoot on uh, two thin layers of clear just to protect the paint and uh, it'll be done. Uh, clears four to one, at least this brand is. Most of them are, I believe. So I'm thinking if I do four ounces of this, one ounce of my hardener. That gives me four to one. That should be enough to do that whole tranny. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue to rotate this thing around. Looking good, isn't it? Okay, so now we'll start on one side here. So you can see I'm trying to go this way and this way to get inside. So, and then I got to go up underneath. And then I'll try to go down on these bolt holes. Hopefully you can see all this. Okay. So we'll let that tack off for a few minutes. And then we'll come back and put a heavier coat on. So we should be good. Looking good already, isn't it? Okay, so we got our first coat of clear on. As you can see, it's uh, getting shiny now. So we'll put one more coat of clear and uh, that doesn't look better. I think that looks very clean. We'll see how it stays, but uh, as of right now, that looks awesome. So it's gonna be sweet. Thank you for watching another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. Transmission is now done. Um, clear coat, second coat of clear coat just went on. It's tacking off right now, but as you can see, it's a whole different look. Uh, much better than that uh, aluminum, which I thought was not impressed with. But uh, now the thing looks great. So we'll let this dry for a little while, and then we can unmask it. And I think the color differences should uh, really make it pop. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. He's all done. Oh, let me get my shadow out of there. Sorry. But uh, I think it looks pretty good.